how to make a parametric modular kitchen casework in Revit. Let's start. Open the Revit. Duplicate base unit one door from our previous tutorial. Copy, paste, and rename it to base unit two doors sink okay open the file go to reference level select the shelf depth parameter delete this reference plane go to front elevation delete the shelves delete this dimension then go to family types delete the double shelves okay the single shelf the doors and the shelf depth okay then rename the family type change it to base unit 2d okay next delete the rest of the family types okay delete delete okay next uh, rename again let's change the width to 120 centimeter Okay, change the width to 1200 millimeter. Apply. Then door width. Let's change the formula to width over 2. Open and close parenthesis minus 6 millimeter gap. Full handle width, change the formula, uh, width over 2, open and close parenthesis, minus 100 millimeter. Apply, OK. Next, change the graphic display to realistic. OK, let's create reference plane draw a vertical reference plane dimension select this three reference plane make it equal select the reference plane mirror select the center reference plane then dimension select this three reference plane make it equal next select the door unlock the center okay align select this reference plane and select the center of the door okay lock next select the door make a copy Okay, instance origin does not lie on the host space. Select the door, pick new, select face, and select this face. Pick. Okay, next, align, select this reference plane, and select the center of the door lock okay select this reference plane select the bottom of the door lock okay select this reference plane the six millimeter gap select and select the top of the door okay Select the top of the door. Okay, lock. 
Next. Let's check the 3D. Okay. Let's test the parameters. Let's change the depth to 900. Okay, perfect. Back to 650. Change the wind to 900 millimeter. Okay, good. Let's go back to 1200. Apply. Okay. Next, download and open the kitchen sink color ball double equal. Okay, load into the project, load it into base unit two door sink. Okay. Okay, next, select place on face, pick here, okay, align, select the center line, select the center of the sink, and lock. Okay, next, dimension, select this reference plane, select the edge of the sink at the back okay select the dimension and create new parameter name it sync offset okay next go to family type Sync offset, move the parameter down. Okay. Below countertop thickness, move up. Okay, next, let's change the sync offset value to 50 millimeter. Okay. Next. Let's check the 3D view. Let's go to reference level. Okay. Now let's create a void. Create extrusion. Pick lines. Okay. Pick the edge of the sink. Control tab. Select the edge. Pick lock pick lock pick and lock select also the arc okay pick okay lock select the arc lock Select, lock, okay, then trim, okay, trim the lines, okay, trim, trim, okay, finish, let's go to front elevation let's change the graphic display to wireframe move the arrow up okay next align select this reference plane select this edge lock okay select this line the red line select and select this edge and lock Okay, go back to 3D view, select the box or the solid, change the solid to void. Okay, now 
select cut, select the countertop, select the void. Okay, select the module, select the void. Okay, next, select the sink. Go to edit type. Let's map the material parameters. Pick the button for the faucet finish. Pick and create a parameter. And type kitchen. Tap or let's change it to kitchen faucet finish. Okay. Okay. For the sink fin uh, finish. Uh, new parameter type kitchen sink finish okay 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 next go to family types Let's check. Okay. Good. Go to front. Let's change it to realistic. Okay. Double check. Back to 3D view. Save the family. Okay load into our sample project uh, insert space to rotate okay pick select the unit let's make a copy let's edit duplicate Let's create a new type with the width of 900 or 90 centimeter. Change the width to 0.9 meters. Okay. Good. Done. Thank you.